So welcome back. Um, in this and next few lessons, we are going to talk everything about compute services. And as I said earlier, compute is nothing but a set of processing, which is collection of your CPU and memory. And first and the most important thing you get, or first the most common one you get is a virtual machine. So you get different, you can go and create different type of virtual machines or different operating system virtual machines. You can create a Windows server or you can create different flavors of Linux, which could be Ubuntu server, Red Hat Linux, SUSE or different Linux. Now this is a, if you're creating a Linux machine, this is how the architecture is going to look like. The outer shell you have a Azure cloud. Inside that you create something called virtual network or VNet we call, which is nothing but uh, a continuous block of IP addresses through which you get your IP addresses. Within that virtual network, you create something subnet, which is a subset of your virtual network. And within that subnet, you create virtual machines like Windows or Linux. And on top of that, you can install any application of your choice. There's a concept called network security group, which is nothing but firewall that you open. Now we are going to discuss about these networking later. Uh, and there's a dedicated separate module called networking for beginners, depending on uh, you might have access to that. Or if you want to go, if you enjoy networking, let my team know and you, sh you we can give you this bonus about networking for beginners that you'll enjoy. So this is how the virtual machine actually uh, have or run on azure so this why i said earlier you have a um, outer layer which i've added another concept called a resource group which is nothing but collection of resources and i think we covered resource group earlier or maybe we'll going to cover that in a minute uh, later so resource group is a collection of resources in this case my virtual machine network load balancer or my disk all those are resources so inside that I've created a virtual network, then subnet, and this is my virtual machine. Now this virtual machine will need some data. So I can have some additional data or uh, my disk we call. Uh, so you can, by default, there'll be some default disk, which we call manage disk. And you can also create additional disks with that we call storage. And that's how you get virtual machine. Now in virtual machine, you can configure something called as network interface card, which will give you the IP addresses or which are assigned to a virtual machine and you can create multiple network interface cards. And if you create a machine with a public IP, you can access it over the internet. So that's in a nutshell about virtual machine. You can go and create virtual machines. I'll show it to you on uh, in a console in a minute here. So let's go to the console and create or show it to you how you can create virtual machines. So I'm back on my portal console. I'll type here virtual machine and not virtual network, but virtual machine. These are the virtual machines. I've already have all these virtual machines running. So I'll quickly and say add and say add a virtual machine. And I'm not going to explain it, uh, the different details here. Um, we are going to, depending on which training you're part of, we probably might be giving or going deep in that particular training about this. But what I wanted to show you was that image will dictate what kind of an operating system you want on that virtual machine. So you have Ubuntu, you have Windows, there are different type of Windows. You can have a Red Hat, you can have SUSE, you can have CentOS, Debian, Oracle Linux, uh, or different flavor of um, operating system. And then the shape will or size will dictate how much memory and CPU. And this is where depending on size, uh, I have different how many CPUs and memory I can define on this virtual machine and then rest all our different parameters. So this is how you go and create the virtual machines. So this is one of the compute, which is your virtual machine. Then there are, there are other type of compute, which is app service, which I'm going to explain in the next lesson. Well, this was our Azure cloud expert, Mr. Atul from Team K21 Academy. And this clip was taken from our free course for Azure beginners. Even if you're a beginner, this course will give you a holistic overview of Azure Cloud, Azure DevOps, Azure Data, Azure Security, and whatnot. And if you're already working on Azure Cloud, then this course will help you to revise your basic concepts. In order to subscribe to this course, all you have to do is just go to k21academy.com forward slash Azure and subscribe to this course. And within 50 minutes, you'll be getting an email. Under that, you'll be getting your login credentials and our WhatsApp group where you can ask your every doubt related to Azure Cloud. Thank you, and I will see you in the free course.